hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to talk about the flux control net in painting model basically it's an in painting control net checkpoint for the flux point one dev model and it was released by the researchers from alimama creative team so they've added in the note here that says this version is basically in alpha it's the version that they got from their training process and they mentioned here that they will be releasing an updated version once they feel that it is ready now in here it says that the model weights have been uploaded to hugging face but before that make sure that you have your comp ui up to date the support for the alimama sd3 and flux in paint control nets was released five days ago so if you have not updated your comp ui during that time make sure that you are updating it by the way to update your comp ui you can go into the manager and then click on update all or if you don't want to update your custom news but just comfy ui you can click on update comfy ui if you're having any difficulty updating your comfy ui or after updating your comfy ui you do not see the new nodes which i'm going to show you a little bit later on you can go into your comfy ui portable folder go inside the update folder and then double click on update comfy ui.bat this will manually update your comfy ui now, as for the control net model, basically the in-paint model, you'll need to click on this link. It will take you to the Hugging Face page that says Flux.1 Dev Control Net in-painting, and this is the alpha version. Now, in here, it tells you that the best resolution is 768 by 768, and the control net conditioning scale should be within 0 0.9 to 0 0.95. There's a couple of showcases, but what we are interested in is to go inside of files and versions and then simply download this diffusion PyTorch model dot save tenses. It's around four gigabytes. Click on this little icon here to download it. Once you have it downloaded, it will probably be in your downloads folder. Move it so you can cut it. You can press Ctrl X to cut go inside comfy ui into models folder and then inside the control net folder and then paste it here i've renamed mine to alimama flux control net in paint dot save tenses now here's an example so we are going to have an image in this case i have a picture of a door and then i've in painted the inside of the door it goes through that control net through the flux workflow and out comes the in-painted image in this particular case i wanted a kind of portal magical portal and this is what it got okay so first i'm going to clear out everything then in the description of this video there will be a link that will take you to comfy ui examples page and scroll down until you see the flux link click on it it will take you to the flux examples scroll down and this first image will work for us you just need to drag it inside of comfy ui and release this will give you the basic flux dev workflow next make sure that you have your flux models in the correct folder so you can click on this refresh button if your ui isn't like this and you would like to have the same web ui i've released a video on that i will leave a link in the description below alternatively you can click on the refresh button on the right side as well now once you have refreshed the page make sure you're selecting the flux dev as the load diffusion model in the dual clip loader one of the clip should be clip l the other one should be the t5 xxl and then the load VAE will be the flux VAE. Now at this point, I would recommend you to just click on the Q prompt and make sure everything is working. All right, so once you have the default image there and you know that the flux workflow is working, nothing is missing, simply go to the left side here and we'll start working on an in-painting workflow now using the flux model. So when we are talking about in painting, we need initial image. 
which we will mask out a part of it. And then the model will basically fill in the mask area with something else. So for that, I'm going to go and add a load image node. And right now, as you can see, I have a door. Now next, double click on an empty space and search for Ali Mama and then add the control net in painting Alimama apply. It's from the Comfy UI core. Now, if you do not have this, make sure you are updating your Comfy UI, any of the method I've suggested before. Now, this image will go in as an image and you can see that we have mask too. So right click on the image, select open in mask editor and then paint in the area that you want to mask at. I'm going to paint in the inside, then click on save to node. Now from the load image, we are going to take the mask. It goes inside this control net in painting mask and we need to fill in the other input fields. We have one for the positive and we know this is coming from the clip text encode here. So I'm going to take the conditioning output of this clip text encode and then pass it over to the control net as the positive. Now the positive of the control net, this one will go in to the flux guidance. Now in this particular workflow, we do not have a negative prompt. However, we need to add this input. So I'm going to copy this clip text encode, press control C to copy. And then when you are pasting it, hold down control shift and then press V. It will keep the connection and then take the conditioning, set it to negative. Now remove everything from the text prop and then you can collapse it by clicking on the circle icon here. This is going to be the negative prop. Now for the VA, this one is simple. We are going to take it from the load VA and then for the control net, we'll take the control net, drag out and select control net loader and you should have the Alimama Flux Control Net in paint dot save tenses there. Now, if you rename yours to a different name, make sure you're finding it from the list. Now, the strength of one does not quite work. So I went to 0 0.9. Next, you need to put a positive prompt that's going to match what you are trying to get. So I have a prompt here, basically a portal, the same one that I've used. Now, we are not quite done here because right now this control net in paint Alimama apply will only give us the positive conditioning, which is going inside the flux guidance. In order to accommodate for different type of images, like different resolutions, we'll have to get this image size. So go into the manager, click on custom node manager, and then at the top here, search for essentials and then install this one, the Comfy UI essentials. The ID is 239. After installing it, you will need to restart your Comfy UI. Once you've restarted, double click on an empty space and look for get image size. This one will take the image. So we are going to take it from the load image node and then it will output the width and the height. So take the width, go inside the model sampler flux, and then the height as well there. There's one more area. We'll need to delete this width and height primitive node. So select it, press delete, and you will see that this empty SD3 latent is now missing the width and height. So we'll take it from that get image node, like so. Now, if you find that your initial image, so if I open my image, you can see at the top here, it says 460 by 574. So that's a low resolution. So before going inside the get image size, double click on an empty space, search for resize. And again, from that Comfy UI essentials, we are going to take the image resize custom node. It will take the image and then it will output another image. So we are going to pass this output image to the get image size. Now under method here, I'm going to keep proportion and then my width and height, you change it according to your image. So this one is basically a portrait. 
So I'm going to put my width as 7 to 0 and then the height will be 1280. Now, of course, if you want to check the image, you can add a preview node. So at this point, everything should be good. So click on the Q prop. OK, so it's completed and you can see that the result. OK, we can try a different in painting. So I'm just using this default. Let me try to change the cake here. All right, so it's completed and let's see what happened. Yeah, so this one is not a good in paint. Now this could be because of the prop or it can also be because of the model. Now they did mention that this is only the alpha version. So hopefully we can get the actual official version. So now that we have the support directly in the Comfy UI call, hopefully we can get these workflows faster. All right, so thank you for watching until the very end. Let's just hope that we get uh, a, an official Comfy UI workflow so that we can study it and improve the image generation. Thank you once again and take care. I will see you next time.